Well, Vic, many fans want to know how close were the Ravens to signing Colin Kaepernick. Ray Lewis says they were about to close this deal, but one tweet changed it all. 824 in the AM Baltimore Ravens get making headlines yet again. The whole Colin Kaepernick mess. Colin Kaepernick and Ray Lewis are at center stage with Lewis shedding light on why the Ravens backed away from the controversial quarterback. Nobody had this kid a job in the National Football League. I can raise my hand and say I did. Once a star for the 49ers, poor play and a protest of the national anthem. Quite a moment here in San Francisco. Has Kaepernick looking for a new job? I'm going to continue to stand with the people that are being oppressed. When Joe Flacco was first injured, the Ravens expressed interest in Kaepernick but never signed him. Shortly after, Kaepernick's girlfriend slammed owner Steve Bishotti and Ray Lewis, posting a tweet that mirrors the movie picture of a house slave hugging his racist master. The only thing that went bad, the only thing that went bad was that image where she tried to make us a racist. Lewis on Showtime's Inside the NFL. We were going to close the deal. To sign him. To sign him. All we wanted to hear was hear Colin Kaepernick speak. Then his girl goes out and puts out this racist gesture. She doesn't know we're in the back office about to, about to try to get this guy to sign. Ravens coach John Harbaugh. I'm not even exactly sure what all was said, but I can tell you this, I'm, I'm way past that. You know, I mean, I haven't even thought about that for weeks. While Kaepernick only needs one team to roll the dice, it seems like that ship has sailed in Baltimore. And Lewis says the only thing owner Steve Bishotti wanted to hear was from Colin Kaepernick that he wanted to play football. He says that opportunity never came about once the tweet was sent. Denise. All right. Thank you, Rick.